and we are this is to then mic Okay. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the Prime Minister. Be a very important uh, new national car announcement. And just to reiterate, uh, Uh, quickly, because I have to visit to have the new next car. Yes, in the automatic power. EV vehicle component. Customer. The criteria, the, it must be a Malaysian company with proven track record. It must also have uh, experience in new manufacturing technology. Uh, this is record. It must also have a pool of local engineers with experience in advanced technology the capabilities in product engineering development and process as well as design, uh, experience in new manufacturing technologies and integration into uh, this is another important criteria it must be privately funded a company that is privately funding the development itself Next. okay now we are working with, in this case, Dream Edge as the Malaysian anchor company for the new national car, and as well as with the Hatsu Moto company in Japan. What, are the, what, what is this new national car? It's a new model with advanced technology, uh, with the collaboration that Dream Edge and Daihatsu has. Of course, it is also an exclusive model with new approach to uh, segmentation. And, of, and it must be affordable to the public. And focusing on upper body, the NVH, noise, vibration, and harshness, as well as the RNH, which is ride and handling. Okay, this is uh, the timeline of the, as I was advised by Dimage. Uh, their timeline for the new national car would be, of course, today the announcement of this new national car, which I understand um, um, you will see. And at the end of August 2019, the engineering capability model, the, 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 the mock-up, uh, there will be an event where they will showcase a mock-up.
Okay, and then on the mid of September 2018, the kick. Oh, before that, maybe I should let Adri say a bit, a bit of things. Why not? part of this entire uh, development. Now, March 2020, they expect the first model prototype of the new national becomes uh, we involve especially in automotive um, privately funded development edge uh, their building is here right now and you'll be able to see their showcase later on any more of course that's it and uh, um, see what we are doing here and uh, the well, showcase that, of the mock will yeah. be That's all, thank you. You can tell you were just with the It's a technical it's a technical advanced uh, technology. Uh, it's they are in uh, robotics and IoT. So uh, right after the and um, see what we are doing here. And the showcase of the mock -up will be in end of uh, August. Yeah. That's all, thank you. Uh, technology sharing, yeah, support. Uh, maybe you can explain. Are you want to explain? Yeah. Uh, it's the Yasu Moto Corporation in Japan. Huh? It's not the Yasu Malaysia. Huh? It's the Yasu Japan. <laughs> so they have agreed to uh, lend their support in the areas of advanced technology. Okay, so they are lending their support in the areas of advanced technology. the car, it's going to be very much focused into deploying technologies in the model development. Okay. Uh, sorry, can you tell me more from the uh, from Gigi Press? Hi. Yeah, uh, the new model will be a SUV or electric car. Um, I think the one, uh, we will give you later. Uh, that's it. Uh, for TV3. Uh, just wondering about the funding and investment-wise, how much are the company looking at and where do you get funding? Uh, it's privately funded, no government funding at all. That, that uh, is what... ...who will lead it on a private funding basis. Well, well, there will be any kind of tax incentive factor in terms of the investment that you're looking at? Just like any other company, they can apply, and then we'll see whether or not they are entitled to it. That's all. Uh, <laughs> Joseph from Reuters, when was the decision made to appoint uh, DreamEdge as the anchor company? DreamEdge has what are the possibilities of this new national car, uh, but I think I'll let him answer to you when they started their participation. Um, six months ago, we started approach MITI and we showcase our capability. Okay. So the decision was made when? To A while ago, it? and of course... Uh, uh, because they have a good model and they've got a good uh, business model that I, we believe can work and they have already briefed the Prime Minister over the same and uh, he's convinced as long as it is privately funded because it's a private fund we have no we should not even be bothered to ask about this <laughs> <laughs> that will be a business decision by them. Uh, can we have a <laughs>
I have no idea, but it is about Maybe private funding. Can answer that question. Uh, funding. Uh, total amount of funding, probably a few, a few hundred millions. Uh, maybe it's a private project, but how do you classify this as a national car? What is the role of national government? Just like any other projects where the government uh, has a collaboration of support, where we support whatever they do, uh, and they've offered it as a new national project, a new Sorry, sir. What is your name, sir? My name is Wyas Kong from Wyas Kong Driving. Hello, Mr. Wyas Kong. Hi, okay. Uh, You're live on FB. You were, thank you. <laughs> you were on, uh, you were at the Proton launch, right? Yes. And you, you remember uh, at Proton, they said, it takes four years to develop a car. Okay. Your timeline here is 18 months. Assume that you already have the blueprints you already have a plan, you already have the design, and you're just going into production to make the car in 18 months. I think, I think they can better answer that. I'm yes. here just to announce. Yes. <laughs> so can we have Green Page answer this question? Um, by having some of the support uh, from the technology partner, uh, within 18 months with the existing facilities that we have in Malaysia, I think we can make it Do you have a plan already up and running? We are looking contract manufacturing. Uh, okay. uh, the third one. Uh, I have no idea about any special relationship, but most interestingly is, how come they know earlier than even you all? This morning. I know, they knew before you all. Unless, unless... Dream Edge was the anchor company. We have not announced until just now that Dream Edge is the anchor yes, company. They have chosen because not, not because of this relationship. I verily can, can confirm no. And Dream Edge is a leading uh, advanced uh, innovative company. And, you know, it is strange that um, which company they <coughs> have FM. FMT knew well before the announcement today. Because reporting sources and say that relationship. Or maybe they are so excited over it. Dato, how about the equity participation? Equity participation, because it is a company, a privately run company, it is up to them, yeah. as long as there is no government funding. Okay. It is a, a technology uh, exchange in this case. Uh, Mr. Atri, may I ask, um, uh, what options are you looking at for fundraising? Uh, still, we, we are looking some uh, a few uh, fundraising. We would like to have a look which scheme is the best for the company. Have you narrowed it down to maybe a few options? Maybe later once we are confirmed. How, how long? How long will that take? Uh, yeah, mass mass market product. How, how long will that process take uh, before you decide? Because the car will launch, I think, uh, 2021. Okay. So we have ample time to look at which is the best scheme for the uh, fund. Do you, do you have a for the uh, name for the RAM also still, uh, we, we didn't decide it yet. Uh, we are looking at a new technology, probably um, I think I cannot answer the question, but we are looking at the first model, we are looking at the sedan model. 
probably um, see that. has agreed to render, meaning to lend or to give their support in terms of advanced technology development. So tadi somebody was asking whether Bapak Equity partner. No, they are not a partner. They are going to support the new national car in terms of technology development. Support, support being some aspect of the technologies. I mean, this sort of thing like, you know, are you the, the there are many business models that can happen. That will be that will have to be decided between Dream Edge and Daihatsu. So, so it has not been decided yet. On what? The model of how are you going to There are open technologies. So you sign with Dream Edge and Daihatsu. Yeah. 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 Still a business in, in, in terms business of, yeah, uh, still have a lot of things needs to be discussed. Maybe we cannot reveal it. Uh, um, the detail, let me announce in the, maybe a few months from now. funding uh, where they want to work together with the government. For the government, we provide the facilities in terms of assistance in licensing and what have you. Just like any other companies, we help them with like, um, how far they can go and we want to help them. Now, as for the, what was your second question? I mean, uh, how can we inspire confidence when all, all things are, it seems like, not decided, uh, they have decided, company. but it is because it's a private company, they have their own strategy already. We will support anything that is Malaysian made in this case. And they presented uh, an interesting model. No government money is expanded or used. So in their case, they have a very good model, very good business strategy, and we feel that uh, we can we can support a Malaysian made national car in this case. Uh, so I think the concern here is because it's a national car and nothing has been worked out. Well, it's a Malaysian car yeah, I mean, that they are making. The benefit is you know, I have so there is no agreement yet. You have not decided. There's no one saying that there is no actual agreement. There are already firm business decisions. There's already a firm business decision between them and the technology exchange that will be given. This is what we are made to understand. Okay? Uh, well, announcement, uh, two things, you know. One is to declare that uh, DreamEdge is the anchor company for the new national car and secondly, is also to inform the public uh, that um, they are so will be uh, lending their support in terms of developing technologies within uh, this uh, within the model. The timeline 
um, in, in less than a month from now, there will be another timeline whereby uh, uh, DIMH will be showcasing the engineering capability mock-up model. Uh, that one is, is less than one month from now. So what I'm saying is uh, there will be a progression in terms of uh, announcing to the uh, public the There will be MOU signing and so on. Actually, uh, you know, look, this is a private, uh, private uh, entity, private collaboration between the dream agents and and and, and few other. You know, so the today more important is we the government would like to announce that uh, the government is now appointing dream Edge as the anchor company that will lead the new. Another uh, national car in the country. Sorry? Per what does it mean is the ASU has an equity partnership in the new national car. The ASU has no equity. They are working, they are helping, giving the support in terms of technology. So obviously, uh, in terms of, obviously, uh, for Peradua, they, they have been working for over close to 30 years together, and we have seen the success story, and they are still is continuing working together closely and even to come. So there's no change in terms of uh, the collaboration or partnership between the Hatsu and Peradua. Uh, you mentioned that the uh, uh, Lifesuit Design is supporting developing the Peradu for the national car. Does that mean that Lifesuit would uh, able to share its platform as an outreach for the new national car? <laughs> new national car. New national car. Um, you see, this is some of the um, areas um, that um, the parties involved, in this case, they, as at today, um, our discussion with uh, the ASU, and, and I can talk also, I mean, I can... The word using technology collaboration would include uh, many things. It could also include platform and, and platform or, or even engine development. Yeah. So at this point in time, um, you know, uh, all of that, uh, I would say, things that the the new national car company will be announcing from time to time. You know, as the progression is. In terms of the platform that is going to be used and, and so on, yeah. Okay, so, so, really, yeah. So, so, uh, I think that's uh, the, I think the last, uh, one, one last question. Uh, one last question. Well, it may not be uh, an electric car. It's likely to be a hybrid sedan, correct? Yeah. It's, it's not an electric, but it's likely to be a hybrid, the first car to be launched. Yeah, everybody is going to have one. Yeah. Uh, maybe they want uh, the to form later. Right. So, again, there is a lot of. Yes, for all. So, I guess, 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 I guess,